Mitka? All right, let's get treat. All right, so we are working on the down command. So it appears she knows to go down when there's a treat there. So what I'm trying to do is get her to do the down so you don't have to lean down to point to the ground. Um, she's being very stubborn about this. So let me show you where I'm at with that today. I'm hoping by Monday or Tuesday next week, she'll be freely just doing the down with the, the vocal um, command. So sit, mom, sit. Yes. So this is gonna look a little more drastic than it actually is down. So what I'm doing is I'm going to give a pressure down with the collar, down. Now what I'm trying not to not do is lean over her. I'm giving her a hand signal here because I've changed her hand signal. Down. Yes. Yes. Good girl. And the reason I changed it was to help her go down um, in that position without me leaning over. It's a little bit easier to teach that way. So let me let me do that one again. Um, she's yawning a lot. She's starting to get kind of tired because we've been working on this for a long time. Um, this has been a, a lot of a lot of downs. Um, so she's gonna be tired. Sit. Very good. Now her sit is fantastic. Down. So I'm kind of giving her a second. Down. Now I gotta balance myself so I don't fall over. Pressure down, that's it. No, that's one of the things she's been doing. She pops her butt up. Down, come on, try again. So I'm gonna reposition myself. Down, don't look at me like that. I have a treat, you just gotta, you gotta get your treat. You gotta go down, down. This is the awkward down that she's been doing randomly. Okay, you have a treat for that though. Um, when she starts to spin around and pop her butt up, um, it makes it a little more difficult. Let's try again. Let's go. Yeah. All right, let's go. So again, this is just the teaching part. Um, ultimately, you shouldn't have to do any of this. Sit. Um, when she goes home, hopefully she'll just be working on that command. Sit. Uh-uh. Don't spin around. Come on. Come on. Here. Sit. Days. Sit. Thank you. All right. Oops. Leash is all tangled up. Down. So she's thinking about it. She's deciding not to do it because we've done it so many times. Down. Sometimes repeating works really well and sometimes it backfires on you. Good girl. And I'm trying to give her that treat so she has to pick her head up, but I don't want her elbows to come off the ground. Very good. So, like I said, this has been a big struggle struggle with her. This has really been the only huge struggle I've run across this week with her. Everything else, she's just trying to figure it out. This, I think she knows what she's supposed to do. She just doesn't want to do it at this point. Um, but this is actually a, a good progression um, to not have somebody leaning over her to get her to do her down. We'll get rid of this little leash thingy. Um, I'm not really putting a ton of pressure on her to get her to go down with that, but it's enough to give her guidance down without my body language telling her to go down, which is what I'm looking to do. So she's coming along. She's made some great friends. Um, today she played with a great Dane who's, I want to say he's only about a year old. He's fantastic. Um, and then uh, she was also out with a golden doodle. I think it's a golden doodle. Um, and then of course, her favorite dog is the uh, Bubba, the Boston Terrier. She's been having a blast during playtime with all of them, so. Haven't you? Yeah. She's like, I'm ready for another playtime. We'll get her another playtime today. Good girl.